everybody, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today we, well, I should say tonight because it is 8.30 p.m. where I am filming from and we are going to do my plan with me for the week. So my daughter is upstairs. You might hear her. She is attempting to go to sleep. It's been a rough couple of days because we literally got back from Red Deer today and her sleep pattern was all over the place and also my son is playing video game in the background. My husband is here. So I apologize for any noise, but uh, I'm filming in my living room. So, so I am in my uh, vintage Aurora. This is the Blue Mirage binder, and I actually took this with me on my trip. I also took my compact, and my compact came in handy because I'm not sure if you guys were aware or if you've caught this in previous videos, but my compact it is the what do, we, what do they call it? The personal wide. It actually fits the um, cash envelopes I'm using in my little purple cash envelope notebook. And I use these plastic envelopes. I'll show you. So um, I don't keep these in my binder, my compact, because obviously it's bulky and I only use them when I'm going out. So if I go to Red Deer, go on a trip, um, even date night, I bring it with me. So these are like the plastic vinyl envelopes that we use so we can keep change in there. And they're perfect. They fit in the compact. So I do keep only my monthly um, schedule in my compact So and note paper. So if I need to write something down and then also expense forms from cloth and paper. But I did take this one because so normally what I do is like, I will actually, I'm going to link my last like, planning routine video because I think I called it my daily functional planning routine because I have a lot of things I do when I'm home you know in my my regular morning routine it's part of like when I drink coffee I just sit down and I do my stuff and I didn't I couldn't do that when I was gone so um what I did instead I'm just going to show you the daily let's jump to today I guess so the list is very short because we um we pretty much drove and we like unpacked and we didn't leave till like two o'clock anyway but I've been tracking my numbers down here so I wanted to show you that but that's what I used right there I didn't fill this out because we were we were busy doing stuff we were busy doing stuff so I didn't really get a chance to fill this out but I just wanted to show you guys and then tomorrow I actually have a few things already planned so we have to do we have to do a few things we actually have to go to um, my sister-in-law's and yeah a few things it's gonna be busy because we also have date night I didn't put that on here yet but I haven't planned for tomorrow yet um, so we're just doing the weekly I'm gonna get my task card so if you guys haven't seen this I first saw this from Marsha on buy sell plan and she had these she still has these task cards um, it kind of looks like the same thing. So I just use this Franklin Covey. Um, I guess it's like a card holder. So you can put like um, two by three size photos in here if you wanted to. Um, anything, you could use this as a decorative page. It doesn't matter. I'm using the Simply Gilded washi tape cards. And what I've done is cut them down to size so they fit in this plastic holder. And then I round the corners with my uh, rounding corner punch. And then I just label it and I put all the things that I want to do so I stay on task when I'm doing my planner routine and it's helpful but you know what I forget about it so I'm trying honestly to remember to pull it out each time and uh, I have kind of looked over not that this is part of the weekly but uh, I do like to look over the, the monthly just to see if there's something I can take care of in this week and there will be at the end of this week I'll be doing a few of these things and the same for the weekly work schedule. I actually have a whole bunch of things to do this week. So today is Friday night that I'm filming this video. And my usual routine is to do these videos on Saturday. Um, and the reason for that is because I want the videos to be as current as they possibly can be. I would post them normally, like Sunday is like the ideal day to post but I want to usually post them 
Saturday or Saturday night so you guys can actually have time to watch them because I know a lot of you work Monday to Friday, right? So I try to post them Saturday night. Um, and because Chad is home, so when Chad is home, I do film a lot of other videos and I do have some videos scheduled for tomorrow. I will be filming my December bullet journal setup tomorrow. So I need to get this video done tonight, have it ready for you guys at 10 a.m. tomorrow, which is mountain time and go from there. So um, this is the weekly progressive task list. Um, you can find these on Franklin Planner. I do have links down below. I'll keep that one up so you guys can check it out. Um, and I'm going to use different colors because I use a dark green color and I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. It does match the binder though. It was a Tombow color and I'll link that video if you want to check that one out. That was my last weekly plan with me. So I just keep all of my spare stuff in this Avery binder. Technically the Franklin binders are cheaper on the website but the amount that you pay for shipping to Canada is crazy you guys so I do try to only um, order every now and then I don't want to order too often because shipping prices have gone up and uh, it's just ridiculous lately so um, speaking of that I do want to mark it here a little bit for myself I'm going to show you shortly um, some of my stickers that I've designed. I do have a sticker shop. It's on my website at www.sandradoll.ca. And I'm actually having a sale. It's kind of why I mentioned this. I'm having a Black Friday sale at the end of this month. So the weekend starting the Friday, November 26. And I will be... I think it's 25% off in my shop. So um, if you want to check out those designs, I do have a lot more than I've printed, but um, I will show you guys here in a minute what some of them look like. But yeah, so I do get these um, binders. This is the Avery binder. I get them on Amazon, so I'll have those linked down below for you too. I do actually have um, US links for Amazon as well. So. Uh, for those of you who are watching who are from the U.S., which is probably most of you, you can click on those links too to check it out. But yeah, that was an Avery binder, and I think I paid $20 Canadian for it. So these couple of things, this is from Simply Gilded. It's actually called, um, I can't remember what she called it. It's like a, tra a large traveler's notebook, a folio, I think is what it's called. I just keep some stickers in here that I use. Um, I get some from Once More With Love and Let's Plan It. And these are just like the icons. So these are the munchkins and these are the coras. So I like those little icons for functional planning. And I do have quite a few for Christmas. Um, Once More of Love came out with a whole bunch of Christmas ones, but I haven't got them yet because um, the amount that I added to my cart came to like $150. And that was like, whoa, way too much. So I, I just, sometimes I sleep on it for a few days and then I'll probably end up deleting all of them and just adding like two or three. So anyway, um, these are the stickers that I make. And you probably won't be able to see them all because they're, some of them are hiding behind, but only because I ran out of room. I am using an Erin Condren sticker album. And of course, as you can see, I have used my own stickers. I use them in my planner. I think these are like some of my favorite. I do have three types of paper I print on as well. So I do um, plain white sticker paper, uh, like matte sticker paper. I have weatherproof matte white, and then I also have a white gloss, which is, it's hard to see behind the plastic, but they, it's a nice quality paper. And I do have a variety of functional and decorative stickers. So if you do want to see more, I would advise you to go to my website, take a look, check it out, and you can see all of the different designs there. I am currently working on Christmas stickers. I only have one up so far. It's like the wreaths and bows, I believe. Um, but uh, I am going to be working on more this week. And these are like my favorite. I have a Jeep. This is what was inspired by my Jeep. I have a Lingua. I have a Ruby, actually, a Rubicon. And I got it, well, it's fully paid off now, but I got it in 2013, I believe. And so these stickers were inspired by that. And then some Halloween stickers at the back. So yeah, so I'm going to use all of these stickers in conjunction with my planning routine. 
um, I still call it a functional planning routine because it it is. I just use those as icon stickers. So before we go any further, we're going to take a light color. Um, I think today we're going to use this blue color. This is a really light blue. It is 491 from the Tombow Dual Brush Pen. And all I do is I highlight these little bars here. I'll just highlight the back too because um, just in case I need them. So what I use these cards for is basically my weekly goals. Um, I was putting them on the Sunday, like because I don't really write much in the note section at some points. And I decided to change it because this also helps me find my day because I used to use the weekly compass cards with this like plastic weekly compass holder. But I just, I like how um, you can really change this. You can make it any way you want. So I've been using these. And I'm just gonna fill these out and um, we'll come back and chat. Okay guys, so I took my time with this one and I layered some stickers here. I put one of my banners with my goal sticker on top and then I decided to change my writing. I usually print and this is a Simply Gilded pen. I have a Simply Gilded subscription box I get every month and um, this is just one of the designs but people have commented on like where I've got it from because they like the writing but it actually does write really, really nicely. So I used my handwriting here and um, so basically personal, I broke my goals down into different types, I guess. So I've got personal help, spiritual, admin, entrepreneur, and mental health. So admin would also be like cleaning out emails, but I, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but when I watch people, when they say that they're trying to, like one of their goals is to have a zero inbox, one of my like major pet peeves is having anything in my inbox. So I only keep things in my inbox if, like let's say it is, um, something that I'm currently working on, I will keep it in there or I'll put it into a certain folder. I do not have things in my inbox. And when I see people do, where they've got like hundreds of emails in their email inbox, it drives me absolutely nuts. It's like one of my hugest pet peeves. So I never have an issue with that, but any emails that come in, I can deal with, with that with under admin. Um, health, I want to drink more water, no eating before bed, bed by 11 PM, hopefully fingers crossed up at 5 a.m. Uh, starting Tuesday because it's when my son has school. Spiritual, I want to do a tarot reading, an oracle reading, um, journaling what about that, maybe watching the Gem Goddess on YouTube, um, I might do my affirmations and manifestation, and also I should put my gratitude on here as well. Okay, and then under admin, so I have to do a video on the budget planner. So I have the new 2022 budget planner and I need to set it up for the new year. So those videos will be posting closer to December, um, the end of December, only because I will be doing planness and vlogmas all throughout December. It's gonna be a crazy month, you guys. I am excited, but I'm nervous as, well, I'm just, let's say I'm really nervous. I, I've watching, been watching um, Rachel Vin. 
I don't know, like, I'm obsessed. I cannot stop watching her channel. She only does vlogs for the most part, and she has a lot of sponsorships, so that's something else. Oh, yeah, I'm going to add that here. Um, where did I have that now? Right here. So... That's something else I want to get into for the new year, but I've been obsessed. I'm going to link her channel for you guys so you can check it out. But uh, she just recently posted that she had 50,000 subscribers and now she's almost got 60,000. So her channel is growing by leaps and bounds and she's only started like eight months ago. So, um, you know, people really like her channel. She lives in South Florida and um, she, she does vlogs. That's what she does. But uh, she's a younger girl and... Um, I think it's it's in, sometimes interesting to watch people vlogging about their life. So that's what I'm going to be doing for December. And let's see, I got off topic there. So I am I have to film a few videos I need to edit and I've got to work on some goal work um, in my Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner. For Entrepreneur, I'm going to design stickers this week, market for my sale. I'm going to use Canva. And I need to post videos. So all of my planning videos for the end of December, I need to edit them and then post them. And then for mental health, I'm going to journal, meditate, and try to have some alone time. So that's it for my goals. And now we're going to go to the first week. So I break my weeks up um, into home life and business. I just like to keep it separate um, only because I do have so many different tasks I need to do. So following my weekly task card here, so review goals, we did next week's goals, we did. And uh, well, we kind of reviewed the goals, but it's hard when I film on a Friday because technically the end of the week isn't done until Sunday and I haven't completed a lot of the tasks and I still have um, swimming on Sunday, date night tomorrow night. And um, there's a lot of things I usually get done between Friday and Sunday. So I'm going to review my personal calendar review the master tasks and schedule week and then transfer any tasks over that need to be transferred over. So um, how I separate my weeks is with these little page finder cards from Flavia Whedon and Daytimer. Um, this was the current week. So I've got things going on, but we're gonna, we're going to move to the next week. So as far as meal planning goes, honestly, I really never know what to plan because my kids are such picky eaters but I'm going to try to do my best. I'm going to pull both the the work and the regular schedule out of here because I'm just gonna do them both at the same time maybe. Well maybe I'll chat in between them anyway but just so I can write on a flat surface. I don't love writing inside the binder um, but I will keep the binder in front of me so I kind of know what's going on. We will do that at least. Okay, so then I always double check again. I know I already did this, but I double check my future log here. So I look at November and we're going from the 15th to the 21st. So the first half of this month was ridiculously busy and the second half is not so much, which I'm kind of thankful for. Um, my niece's birthday that, that is Tuesday, but we're actually going tomorrow to celebrate a little bit. We are quite busy tomorrow, but we're just going to like say hi, bye type thing and drop off her present. So I'm going to plan this week. I'm going to use some stickers and you guys can chill out with me while I do that. They were wrong. It was way more than a dream. We climbed up yeah, over the hillside. It's all right. We stood there all wide eyed. You and I.
pretty much it for this spread here. So I just wanted to talk about this before I add any things to my list here. So I'm going to get a few groceries on Monday. We're actually also cleaning and I forgot to, uh, I had to use a cleaning sticker. So I just have to find one. There we go. Um, so we're going to do the floors and the bathrooms. And then um, some laundry on Tuesday. I'm going to budget Wednesday. Thursday, I'm going to pay the bills. Early dismissal for my son. Friday is just food waste recycle, not garbage day. I'm going to have a movie night with my son and then plan on Saturday. And then hopefully Sunday is a day off. So that's what my uh, one of my goals, my short-term goals has been, is to actually take some time off before December hits, which is going to be crazy. So I'm going to move over to my priority list. I'm going to look at my monthly task list to see if there's anything I need to do. And we're going to go from there. There's no going back to your own life. Living in the past. We're over that. I'm feeling it tonight. Riding on the dizzying high. Okay, so that's it for this week. So I'm going to put this back into my binder and I'm going to move on to the work week. So we are all done my work week. It's going to be a busy one. I'm not really sure if it looks busy. I mean, it does like, you know, Thursday, Friday, it looks pretty busy, but uh, whoops, generally Fridays are my easier days. And so yeah, I just wanted to show you that I did kind of follow the list here. So we did the personal stuff. We went to work calendar. I reviewed the monthly. I always go to the work week. I schedule my week based on what I have going on. And then I haven't 
um, really looked at my monthly action list for November for work, but most of it is kind of revolving around my stickers. The only other thing I want to do is uh, update my Asana. I haven't done that yet. So um, Asana updates. That might be the only like priority thing. And I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. So basically how it goes is I post videos um, Monday. Monday is my makeup Monday. So that is my, my other channel, Sandra Doll Beauty. I have um, general videos posting Tuesday and Friday. So this week it's my habit and mood trackers, my bullet journal, and on Friday it's my Camlin brush pens. Wednesday is pretty much a day off, like I don't post Wednesday. Thursday I have my budget video going live, which is November 18th budget. And then of course Saturday I have my Franklin plan with me from the 22nd to the 28th. So those are all the posting days everywhere where I use one of my YouTube icons. Wednesday I write my blogs so my goal right now is to write two blogs every Wednesday when Chad is not home and so that's going to catch me up if I continue doing that to the end of if I get to the end of November and I continue the schedule I will be I think cut up to the mid-January so I'll get through all of December where I'll be doing my plan miss and vlog miss which is going to be crazy busy so um, this generally what I do is I put my posting schedule here I have a blog post going live Monday at 10 a.m mountain time it's just my fall favorites, which I love those ones because I always seem to like a lot of like, you know, warm and comfy stuff in fall as do most people who live in like a cold weather climb. On Monday, um, what I do is I put like my main priority for the day. So this is called day theming. If you don't have kids, what I would recommend is theming your mornings and your evenings, especially if you get up early, like at 5 a.m., it's perfect because you can do one whole thing in the morning and then a whole nother thing in the afternoon. And this isn't to say that I don't do anything else because of course I have kids, I do lots of stuff. This is just like my main priority work business task for the day. So if I can get my filming done, um, Monday is a little bit of a write-off because Chad is still home, we get groceries and we clean the house, so it's a really busy day. But all I want to do is, if I don't get this done beforehand, like if, because I still have technically Saturday to do that, which I might have time for. If I get it done Saturday, it's great. But if not, I'll be doing it Monday. And on Tuesday, I'll be designing my stickers. So I'm going to be working on little Santas, Christmas lights, and Christmas trees. Wednesday, I film my blog, or sorry, I write my blogs. I write two blogs. And one's going to be kind of revolving around New Year's goals. I've already written a couple of videos about um, New Year's goals and like resolutions, I guess. I call it affirmations, but I totally meant resolutions. Um, but this is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be like how you do um, goals as such. It's going to be more of a difference between them. And then also another one dealing with traumas and like triggers and stuff like that it's going to be an interesting one kind of based on my perspective I'm not a doctor or anything I just kind of write um, what I know through my experience and then I'll be filming the first part of my budget so I call it part one of my budget that's where I write out my budget and then the day after is when we get paid and then I go to the bank get my cash from my cash envelopes and I'll be editing that right after. I find that it's easiest to edit it when the video is small. So if it's 10 minutes, it takes like literally no time to edit. And then Thursday is going to be busy too because it's a big editing day. And my son gets out of school early. So I really have to like push first thing in the morning to start doing this work. So I'm going to try to edit three videos, film the part two of my budget, and also like edit the rest of it and post the entire video. And then edit the remaining three videos I have for that day and for Friday I'll be designing again usually I, Fridays are pretty like quiet for me but because it is getting close to that holiday and seasonal time especially with my sale coming up I want to get as many out as I possibly can so I'm going to design some more stickers and if I get time Friday night I might if I don't already have the budget mom video filmed and set up I'll do that and I definitely have to do my goal video because I didn't realize, but the end of November is sneaking up quite quickly. So I need to get that done. And then Saturday is a planning day. So I just write everything I need to plan. I plan in my happy planners and that includes like work and um, home life. 
and then I also do my Franklin plan with me and then I just simply put edit. So that is it for my work week and then of course I need to work on this. This is kind of priority for me right now but also marketing for my stickers is as well so I'm just going to do a little promo um, using Canva. It's just like a really cool kind of like design system that um, is really useful for any type of online business. So I'm going to do that shortly. I'll have to do that as soon as I can actually. And yeah, I think that's it. So now, um, now that I'm done actually planning, I just wanted to show you guys, it's kind of like a bonus part of the video. Um, I actually got my Simply Gilded haul in this week and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So let's put this back under the appropriate area. Um, I'm going to leave it on this current week here because we're still on the week. And we'll go to the day and I'm just going to pop my new task, my weekly goal card I mean on that day. I'll put it in for Saturday. And last but not least, I just have to put my weekly task card away. So I'm just going to share these with you. I haven't really opened them. I just kind of looked at them briefly. So Simply Gilded is like, I guess it's more of a high-end um, kind of subscription box. And the reason why I love it is because I love washi tape. And that's kind of where my love for this came from. And then I kind of got stuck on all of the other cool little things that that um, Irene offers. So this must be the bonus. I don't remember this in the, she does a video and she basically tells you what all the products are gonna be in the box except for a bonus item, which I like because then you can choose whether or not to keep subscribed for that box. <clears throat> These are recipe cards. Honestly, I don't use recipe cards, but this might be kind of cute putting in a bullet journal or something for like a memory keepsake. So that might be something I'll do. And I also, oh yeah, I thought maybe they changed the packaging in all of them, but this one's still the same. This is like a B6 notebook. It's a stitch notebook, and I think this one's lined. Usually they're like, well, I have a few blank ones. Sometimes they're lined or dotted but, or blank, but this one's lined. So it's kind of a pretty color. It's very neutral. This is like the home sweet home version or um, theme, I guess. And then this is like a notepad. So basically it's like a little notepad where you can plan out your week. So it gives you Monday to Sunday, top goals, to do's and notes. Um, again, I don't really like using these unless it's like a scribble scratch pad because I do all my work in my planner. But um, I mean, it would make maybe make for a nice giveaway. So that's a possibility. Okay, and then we'll open the stickers next and then we'll get to the sticker album. So if you have these subscription boxes for a long time, obviously like the products build up, right? And then you're like kind of running out of room. So what Irene does is she includes sometimes sticker albums where you can place and secure your stickers in. This is adorable. I love these colors. Um, I have one of these. It's like the bubblegum pink color and this is for your mini stickers so you can put photos in here if you wanted to but this is for these guys here and they go in so nicely and I usually go like front and back so she includes both bow seals in all of her kits and like she had said the format changed so now there's only one small sheet of stickers and these are all new so I'm these are different this is the first kit that I've got that is actually, all of these are different. There's, oh wow, okay, one, two, three, four. So it'll get you through an entire month, which is kind of nice. And then there's some deck with their full box stickers. Those are just adorable. Okay, and then I also have like a larger sticker album as well, so it would be for the large ones. And then last but not least is the washi tape. So this is like where I get the pens that I usually use in my Franklin planner. This is one of them. And this looks like it's um is it sparkly, yeah. It's kind of like an off-white. Has a little bow here at the end. 
and it's just a gel pen, so there's always a wax tip. But you get one every single month, so mine are starting to pile up a little bit. Okay. And also, you can get refills. If you really like the pen barrel, you can get refills on her website. There's a little magnet here. This is, I think this is, ja is it Jasper? Because Juniper is the bunny. So her two icons for her shop are Jasper and Juniper. And this is the bear, Jasper. So it's a, mag a magnet. And Juniper looks like this. So um, this is like the chocolate colored bunny, but you can get, get the white colored or I think there was a whole bunch of these that came in one. And she even put Simply Gilded. It says 20, but I did get this in 2021. So I'm not sure. It's a little dusty. But this is a magnet, so I'll put my filing cabinet. And then you get a journaling card. So this one says home, or no, life is sweet. And then the washi tape. So we'll quickly open these and then I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, so these are all of them. So it's more like this, like pastel colors. Um, you'll know that I don't really think goes with this theme is like this flowery one. I like the flowery one, but I don't think it really goes with the theme because it's like pastel pink and blue. I do like the line, the simple line, because that's really pretty. But yeah, it's more like a baking theme and I really like this one. So it's more of a, you know, like a checkered pattern. I like that a lot, but you usually get like a 15 and a 10. And then this one has little baked goods on it, which is really cute, but it's, it's not very, it's not very opaque, I find. This one is like the um, perforated one where it's, gives you the days of the week, which is kind of nice. This is also perforated and it just has bows. So I think, guess you could do like lines or something. I don't know. I don't really use these ones. It's just simply like bows. So maybe you put that as like a space saver or something, or like um, you put it under the days of the week maybe. And then the last one is more Jaspers. And that is it for that. So anyway, I hope you guys like this little bonus at the end of the video, and I hope you like the video. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And again, click that bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And we'll see you guys soon. Yeah.